This is my Jet 14 inch bandsaw and despite having a really good dust collection system in my workshop, the dust collection on this tool is really bad. And the reason is because of the design of this tool. The dust port is down here in the lower shroud and if you, from the side here, there's a lot of space between the throat plate here and the bottom of the shroud and that allows a lot of dust just to be spewn all over your workshop. Just how much room there is between your throat plate and the bottom of your shroud here allowing all the dust to come out and get all over your shop. The reason that manufacturers have it this way is so that you can change your blade easily. Uh, it's been shown in a lot of YouTube videos that you can dramatically improve your dust collection by having the flow of your dust collection coming right across the blade here, the teeth of the blade, below, right below the throat plate. The reason that most manufacturers haven't done that is because you would have to remove whatever's under here in order to change the blades, therefore making it that much more difficult to change the blades. And I change my blades a lot. So with that concept in mind, I've come up with a great design that accomplishes airflow right across the teeth of the blade, right below the throat plate, using a shop vac attachment. The advantage to my design over the other videos that I've seen on YouTube is that mine is super easily removable. So blade change with my design is still very easy. Gives me excellent dust collection. I've been using it now for probably about six months and I'd say it gives me about 95% better dust collection than the manufacturer setup. But it's super easy to install. Uh, it's held in place by these two blocks of wood here registering against the bottom. There's rare earth magnets up here that hold it against the cast iron uh, tabletop. And then the pin to the tabletop secures it in place very well. And it works really well. I'll show you how I built it. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to demonstrate how to build this is I'm gonna remove the tabletop on my bandsaw, which is really easy. It just involves removing a couple of bolts. And then we're gonna install the rare earth magnets. So basically all I did was I drilled a little relief hole in here with a Foster bit, put a little uh, five minute epoxy in there. That'll seat this really well. And I'll just clamp it by putting it over my table saw and let the magnet do the clamping. All right, so with the magnet in place, it seems to hold down pretty well. So, and what I did next is I got a piece of MDF, quarter inch MDF, and I drilled a hole in it with my hole saw. I just happened to have the right size here and here now it's got a bend for the side here so I made some brackets that'll fit here and hold it bent so I'll just glue these in place then we'll just let that dry then I'll reinstall the um, tabletop here on my uh, bandsaw and then we'll drill a hole here that'll go with this pin here to keep it in place. Alright so I reinstalled the table on the bandsaw and now I'm going to see where this fits here. You know where my blade goes to about right here and I want it to land where it's not going to mess with my bearings. So now it's just a simple matter of lining up this hole here and drilling through that so that the pin will hold it in place. All right, so I drilled the hole after numerous fails. That's why I had to put this on here, is I had to re-drill the hole twice to get it right. But as you can see, it fits in there pretty good right now. And using my throat plate, I can see where the blade's gonna come to about, and I've drawn a line here about where the blade's gonna cut out the relief for the blade. I'm gonna make it a little bit wider on the top and the bottom so all the dust can go in and then hopefully out this way and we'll see how it works. All right, so I cut the hole for the blade and it fits in there nice. And then I noticed that there's this could still move. So what I did is I took two small blocks of wood, sprayed some CA activator on here using gel CA glue I put two, glued two blocks of wood on here that register against the bottom of this. And then that prevents this from being able to move. So there's now three points of contact. You've got the pin here and then these. 
so it's really held solidly in place. As I stated at the beginning of this video, I've been using this for quite some time now, and I did make a few additional uh, modifications uh, during the course of using this that have improved it. First is I added two more rare earth magnets here because uh, I wanted just a little bit better hold on the bottom of the cast iron tabletop. And the other thing which is really simple is I put a piece of tape across the bottom here to make to minimize the opening on the bottom beneath the blade while keeping the uh, the opening above on the uh, top wide and that has really improved the dust collection significantly. Here's my best attempt at showing you how well this setup works in action. This is me resawing a piece of poplar. If you zoom in you can see the wood chips getting sucked into the attachment and you really can't see much going out underneath the attachment but it's really difficult to see even with this close-up and the best lighting I could do and here in this next clip you're gonna see me using the old setup with the four inch dust collector and I tried to zoom in below to show you how much is getting thrown around the workshop clearly it's less effective I wish it were easier to show you in video but here it is so no more do I have to vacuum around my bandsaw every time I use it uh, I hope this video has helped you improve dust collection with your bandsaw. Please post any comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching.